At this point, I think New should just carry some some Pokeballs instead of running around with that briefcase. Proof of thought. Hi right, everyone, this is Strine, and welcome to my Top 5 review of Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. In this video, I'm going to be fighting like about this film and about fightings that I didn't like about this film. So, without further ado, let's begin. In no particular order, I'm going to start off with my negatives. And number one, Grindelwald. This film sucked. Sucked so bad that the fact that he did nothing in this week, not one freaking thing. This guy was supposed to be the big bad. This basically was supposed to be the emperor prior to uh, Voldemort's uh, Darth Vader. And he already did anything. I don't really get why the, the Wizarding World is so afraid of this guy. Causing so much trouble. Because all he did was give one big speech near the end of the, the film. And he never does anything that shows, oh my god, this guy is such a badass. This guy is such a threat. We had to, we, we to take this guy out. But... Nothing showcases this. We never got to know who this character was. It's like, I feel like they're, they're saving him for, for the other three movies, which I feel like this is stupid for them to do that. Because, yes, I understand. Oh, Voldemort, we didn't really get to see him to the movie four. But let me make this comparison for all you diehard Harry Potter fans. As someone who's, uh, who's a Harry Potter fan myself, I'm not diehard. But the fact, from movie one, from all the way to his grand debut in movie four, um, everybody was afraid of Voldemort. Like they say, he should not be named. Like everybody was afraid of this guy. Like the word, like like the moment, the fact that if the if people start finding out that Voldemort was come, what was about to make his grand return, you know, this would throw the, the entire wizard off of balance. Now we here we have this guy Grindelwald, who looks weird as he is, as it is, is is supposed to be the guy. A, you know, broke double those hearts. You know, was basically um, a very powerful dark wizard in his own right. And yet, I'm still waiting for, for him to be the, the, this badass. Number two, nothing actually happens in this movie. Oh, uh, people, uh, the, 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 I, can't, I can't mention anything exciting happening in this movie that I could say, oh my god, this particular scene was so awesome. Ah, uh, the, the stuff that this character did, or, 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 or this character did, nothing happened in this movie. I swear to god, the, the fact that this whole movie felt like it was going to be uh, this, uh, this complete, like Cliff Notes. Here you go, guys. Like, we're not going to give you anything to talk about with this movie, but, you know, we still want you to show up for the next three other movies. Wow, really? Nothing happened in this movie. Oh, sure, we got new characters, but but nothing special about them. I mean, like, you expect me to care about this particular character because this uh, character, A, w was somehow introduced in, in the prequels, now plays a much important role later down in the role or semi important i don't know <laughs> number three the big secret now apparently um a like warner brothers and everyone said the botany very not to not to swallow a big secret for fantastic beast and i got to see the big secret i'm whelmed R literally just whelmed because like I was expecting like some big, big twist. Oh my God, I did not see that coming. Like once again, by the time I got to the end of this week, the, the big secret or big reveal or, or twist or whatever it is, I don't want to spoil anything, but eh, that was it. Number four, the lack of character progression. Like, we we had some interesting characters with our four four leads in the first movie. I wanted to see more of these characters progress from the last movie to this movie, and we barely got any of that. Now we also got a whole bunch of new characters, which I don't know why we had to get these new characters because, uh, like I said, nothing happened in this movie. So the fact that they're introducing all these new characters, and you expect me to care about them, where I'm trying to you know still grasp the fact that I need to care about these four new characters that you just introduced me in the last movie. So, like I said, the character possession is a bit weak, in my opinion. And number five, I wanted more Dumbledore. Yes, I know they teased, they teased him in the first movie, like, we're going to see that, and then the moment they announced Drew Law, I was like, super excited. I really wanted to see uh, Young Dumbledore is prime, because I see Dumbledore is more like, uh, you know, like, Hugo Murray as a young Obi-Wan, you know, I wanted to see how he was... You know, like aside from this, a sweet old man who keeps things like close to his chest and not, not reveal everything he does. Here we get to see a little bit of that. How he, he's kind of like a guy that doesn't reveal everything. Like, 
that but like i wanted more of this you know this is the this is this entire movie is based on the fact that you know not only that new happens to be uh dumbledore's uh student when he went to hogwarts but at the same time you're basing on these five movies on dumbledore and i really wanted to get more of dumbledore move on to the positives and number one, I really like the opening of the film. Now, granted, this is not really a spoiler. They show this in the trailer. Uh, Grindelwald, you know, making his grand grand escape. I thought that was the one interesting thing that, that showed the, of what Grindelwald could do or how potentially powerful he could be. But, you know, the, it caught my interest, even though I had a little trouble, you know, seeing these because everything was all, all one color. They were very dark colors, and it was hard to tell who's who. The fact that they used, you know, combined with the magic effects and all that, it, it looked fun. Plus, I like those those weird horse looking things uh, in front of the carriage. It had like, these bat wings. I'm uh, not too sh sure what the exact name is. I'll probably have to look it up. But call me pressed. Number two, Newt. Now, as I said, my negatives, there was no real character progression. But, you know, when it came to the first Fantastic Beast, I didn't really care for the character of Newt's commander. When he showed up, I didn't really care about him. But in the second round, you know, I was a little more intrigued by this character you know we got a little bit of tease of uh, who he was like a little bit of character finally some character progression who is new is you know what his relationship with how he's with people and why he prefers uh animals to people and i love the fact that you know he was trying to you know confine his in his new best friend uh jacob you know how should he talk to tina you know it, it, it you know like, do I say this to her? And, you know, Jacob tries to give his advice. You shouldn't say that. You should do this. You know, like, say that you you came all the way from here just to see her because you, you, you were worried about her. And I thought that that shows great. For, plus, I love his relationship with, with, with Dumbledore. It's like, it's kind of like a Master Apprentice kind of situation. Like, since I'm a big anime fan, and I always like the fact that, uh, you know... You know, your master in anime, the, you know, he, he knows a lot of things, but he's not really telling you everything. He wants you to figure out, otherwise you don't learn anything. So it's like, <laughs> it's a, a, come on, Dumbledore, just tell me straight. What exactly do you want me to do? Then why can't you do this? Is it, I can't do this uh, for odd, odd reasons, for stupid reasons in my youth. And number three, I like the beast. You know, for what little beast we had in this movie, I love to see different animals from this. I love the fantastical creatures. Uh, I love the Chinese one that they, they've been showing the trailers, and that's called uh, Zhu. It's a Chinese mythology creature. It's not very well known, but I gotta give props to J.K. Rollins. You know, you know, going after for these uh, introduce or at least introducing me to more uh, mythical creatures from around the world, not just from um, you know from medieval folklore. You know, like goblins, trolls. Uh, one eye cyclopses or two headed cyclopses and all that. That stuff uh, gets me excited to see. And number four, Credence. Now, just like with Newt, you know, I didn't really care for Credence all that much because he was like this little weird uh, young person who was getting abused by his adopted mom. And technically, I was supposed to feel sorry for him in the first one. I didn't really, like I said, didn't really care for this character as much. But this time around, I'm a little more curious now for where his journey will end from this point on. Because, like, the whole the whole scenario in this time around, like, everybody's looking for Credence. You know, Credence is looking for his, his mother. Or at least it, 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 who he is as a person, because he wants to know who he is. You know, he spent most of his life, you know, down in the magic world. And then, you know, he discovers that he, he has, you know, he's very powerful as it is because, uh, what's the word? Damn it. I forgot that thing that he has with him. Um, the, oh, yeah. The, the Oscurus. That's what the thing is called. Oscurus. But he has one inside. Makes him very powerful somehow. Even to survive this from that. And I'm curious to see where he goes with this. The fact that, you know, he might be going a darker path as we move forward in these movies. But... I don't want to spoil anything, but it, it, it call me like it, I'm starting to, to get invested in, into this into this prequel era, at least very slowly. Lastly, and number five, like even though this movie was a bit of a snore fest, you know, I'm still excited for Fantastic Beast 3. I'm looking for where they're going to do this. Hopefully they'll have more action. I'm very excited to see where Dumbledore and Newt are going to go on this journey, you know, as they try to make plans to try to take down Grindelwald. 
from succeeding in, in his grand scheme to overthrow the, the natural order of things or the current state of order of things. But it's, it's like I'm still interested in this world. I'm still interested in the world of power. It's, a, it's one thing that J.K. Rowling has created, and I'm still you know very curious to see where we go from here. Now we move on to the final thoughts. But SCP-2 is a subpar film. I felt like you could totally skip this movie and just get excited for the third one because I assume the third one will be a lot more better. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And that's something that, you know, like only the diehard Harry Potter fan will probably, you know, rush out to see. I feel like a casual Harry Potter fan could easily, you know, skip this. Well, that concludes my top five review. Guys, I'm curious what your top five positives and top five negatives of Fantastic Beasts 2. Let me know in the comment section. Also, guys, if you're curious about what other videos I make next, subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget the bell icon to get notified. As always, thanks for watching this vid, and I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Bye.